I think it's beautiful for the sport when it's like an NBA game. When it's like, oh, LeBron on this end, Curry on this end, and they just going at it. And after the game, they're going to dap up and shake. But when it's not that energy and it's like, after the game, I'm trying to shoot a nigga. <laughs> That's yeah. when it's like, eh, it, it, it ain't worth it, you know? That's why I don't... And that's why I said with this shit, it's like, none of us really know the yeah, intensity yeah. behind the, the... But, you know, the way niggas coming, it don't feel like friendly fire. <laughs> you know? But with you, it, it would never end up to the point. Like, y'all rapping yeah, yeah. at each other would never end up... Because first, you probably have a combo with a nigga that feels weird. Before and I think that, that's what J. Cole's disposition was. He like, man, if it's that, then let's have a convo. Then we could rap because you my dog. But if it's not that, then we could rap, you know? Yeah. Only difference between you and Cole with that situation is you wouldn't have, seen it. You wouldn't have announced no shit like that. You would have really went straight to the song. Like, man, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> tell the internet I'm, I need to have a talk with you. I'm going to have a talk with you. <laughs> Ugh. I think that's what Cole was saying it was like pivotal because, uh, you know, the whole world was like, you going to say something, you going to say something, what you going to say, what you going to do. And that's when, you know, you really uh, determine what you stand to know, which I say him bowing out gracefully is a beautiful thing to witness as a person because it's like, oh, yeah. He realized he was standing on some shit he didn't really want to stand on. I don't know why niggas consider him doing that as like a bitch tactic. Like, niggas. <laughs> but a lot of niggas not thinking that deep, though. Yeah. A lot, of niggas, a lot of niggas don't even have the ability to understand emotional intelligence. Exactly. They still argue with a, you know, partner and yell in the house. <laughs> you feel me? back on the day to day consistency well i unloaded the clip on youtube yesterday i let so much unlisted shit up <laughs> i got more to get up today i think life things are life things and it's like when you walk around life in the real world they don't have thumbs and captions <laughs> like when i'm talking to you right now you understand everything <laughs> i'm saying it ain't no thumb and catching ain't no bouncing ball ain't no highlighted words you know, like I said, that that's great for like, you know, the extra when you doing your fancy shit, but niggas hear exactly what the fuck I'm saying. And it's also like us shooting all of this for a documentary. That will be dressed up. Like you're full, that's gonna be so That's fucking a movie. Dressed up. Right. Exactly. It's like, but everybody's gonna get to see us making it real time, so all these little life moments. And they come in as is, it's gonna be like, what the fuck? I seen that 10 years ago when them niggas was, you know? And I love that I'm like unlisting. Like, I put it, instead of doing the fucking Seattle show through even, I just dropped them all to YouTube because I'm like, that that processing flow is taking too long to get behind. And, and it's like, I'm, I'm letting everything go so niggas see the full value of what we're gonna do when we go subscription based. And it's like, bro. The average offer-based subscription is unbeatable. It's like you could subscribe a month for whatever fucking cost works for you and your financial status and situation. Right. And I think that's beautiful. And you know, different perks will be unlocked at different price tiers, but you're gonna get something. You're gonna leave here with some. <laughs> you're gonna leave with some. Yeah, it don't usually happen backwards. But I feel like it's easier to go backwards and forward. Like going from a YouTuber to a rapper is a lot harder than going from a known rapper to a YouTuber person. I, not even a YouTuber, because it's like I'm not. I'm far from a YouTuber. I just display it on YouTube. But yeah, I feel like it's a bit easy because people 
already familiar with the name and brand and they already love what a nigga doing and what I'm putting out. So it's like, I just, I'm sharing life. I be having to really get in like, you know, a certain space and spirit to like, be in that. really work with other people on their time and, and they yeah. flow. That's why you see, like, anything I do is like, this time I'm starting. If it, you come late, if it's behind that, it ain't happening. I wrap up as a nigga walking in. Right. It's like, hey, we done. <laughs> too many were Quato was like. Not on other people's time, you on your own time. That too. Like, you ain't trying to waste your own time. It ain't nobody's time, it's just time. And time ain't to be wasted. Exactly. Time don't wait for nobody. I had to get it, what you know about me? Sheesh! Polar bear coochie. Fuck. Did you go to the show? Nah, I didn't go. You're an old nigga, I knew you weren't gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I swear to God, as soon as I got done eating, I was like, oh, nah. It ain't gonna work. Man. That ain't gonna work. I be wanting to go to more things, but they be at night. Or sometimes they just be on days where it's just like, ah, I'm gonna stay home. It's like, I have to really. I have to really commit. Yeah, it's and it's just like, I'm, I'm me. So wherever I go, there's somebody who wants to talk and communicate and be in my space. And I gotta explain. I'm not just like, Everybody else where I get to just walk in and sit in the corner and no one says nothing to me, you just get to enjoy it, you know? I'm not gonna be that. And I'm cognizant of that, so. Man. That's why I'd be great when we do do shows at night and people be there rocking, I'd be, I'd be grateful. Right. It's just like, I know. But also too, like, I think what I'm realizing is like, people, people only get two days off. Like, nigga, we be forgetting this Friday. So True. Like, them two True. Days, they These day okay days to live, to right? Cause they can't. These day days to live. True. I be forgetting that niggas got jobs. People fucking with I won't leave. I gotta start writing more of the R and B and pop joints. You should shoot some more visualizing for it too. Yeah, definitely. And I gotta drop time and time again. I love when those joints be accepted, cause then it's like, okay, I can open up. I've been rapping for a minute. I can start showing these other ones. Cause niggas love slippery slope too. Right. Slippery slope. That's great. Say love. I be thinking the way you will like harmonize and sing, you make it look so much more easier than that shit is. That you, you cannot just do that. Like, <laughs> you gotta practice that shit. Nigga be like, in his room oh, like. <laughs> oh God, no. Nigga, I used to think like, could you make it, you just do it so effortlessly. So I'm like, you know what's funny though? It's like, and I still can't sing, but I practice so much. Like all of my first, if you hear the first version of any of them songs, it was hard. It sound like a nigga was in the bedroom trying, but you only get better from doing it and doing it and doing it. And it's like, okay, I can at least do it well enough for it to be an enjoyable song, you know? No, yeah, do that. If I do it, oh, God. it's just reps. Oh God! It's just reps, though. Like sometimes I'm able to hit shit that I didn't know I could, <laughs> but I just try. We gonna rock the shit out of Tiny Desk. Bro, bro, how long can you go for? I think it's like 18 minutes or 20 minutes. Oh, shit, I'm gonna use every minute. I'm gonna use every minute. It could be said that's kind of also just like one little segment for us. Right. You know, a nigga, I get, I do six, seven songs in one thing. Yeah. It's going to be nice, though. It's going to be nice. That shit was on my list. I had made a PR hit list like two, three years ago. And I, I feel like I need to go back and look at it. I feel like I hit everything on that motherfucker, yeah. which is crazy. Leakers, Breakfast Club, Sway, it just bootleg. I, I had so many on there. And I think I hit all them motherfuckers. On the radar. Crazy. Yeah, I'm finna get back into that bag. 
I've been making a shit ton of rap and hip hop and shit, but I'm starting to get a little need to hit the switch sometimes, you know. Yeah. Which is why I said that a few weeks ago. I knew you wasn't gonna be on this one. Not too much longer for real. I felt it coming. <laughs> oh God, I was like, well, y'all better enjoy this shit while it lasts, nigga. Life rap coming back. Nigga, cause nigga. It never left though. That Seattle oh, shit stupid. For real. Song cry is stupid. Stupid. Strings and plays, baby. Strings and plays. <laughs> it's not about the drug, it's about the person. Right? True. There's a reason some people could do fucking coke and all that shit for years and come back and still be civil and have a regular kind of fucking hearse. You know, it's like, but everybody can't do that. Damn. Because yeah, everybody don't have that level of character and person to where they could take on that and it don't destroy them. Damn. It's like dairy. Some people can eat dairy and not have an issue. Some of, some of us eat dairy and it's like, I'm going, I'm going, you know? That's how it is with everything in life. Some days get stung by a bee and die. Some days get stung by a bee and just slap it off and it's like, ah. Not knowing you yet and knowing like you only love fire shit and that's the only way you're gonna respond, I had to just keep shooting shots. Like I was shooting in the dark, not even knowing if you was reading none of my text. Mm -hmm. I was just randomly keep sending you links. Right, that's funny because you used this shit and I just wouldn't respond. Oh God. <laughs> you just would not say anything. <laughs> and I don't know why the fuck I kept sending shit too. I, like, usually when that happened in the past, I stopped sending shit to niggas. But it was happening. Your energy was different, bro. Like, it didn't, you didn't make me feel like. I told you after the first time, I said, I'll be watching. That's what I tell everybody. I give everybody the same shit. It's like, I might not follow, but I'm always watching and seeing shit. And once something inspires me enough to where it's like, man, I want to follow this and see what's happening. I want to keep up with it. And, you know, it, it goes to that level. But everything ain't that for me. We've seen one nigga come out and they still not enough to keep. Uh -huh. uh, I don't think so. <laughs> you think so? I don't really turn down raw niggas. Well, you didn't fuck with Play-Doh at first. Play-Doh wasn't raw at first. And he'll tell you. Just like I told you, the same with Yacy on, the same with everybody else. He wasn't that, he, he wasn't the Play-Doh he is today. You know, I seen this interview with L.A. Reid and they was like, man, you dropped Lady Gaga. And he was like, no, I didn't drop Lady Gaga. I dropped, you know, who she was before she was Lady Gaga. She wasn't that when she was with me. You feel me? And I was the same with Clay though. He wasn't, it wasn't that. Yeah. <clears throat> now he came back and it's that. And it's like, yeah, let's go. Same with Harry too? Um, no, Harry had a good impression from the jump. I just didn't, I just never like adding hella instruments to my shit. Cause that's more people I have to Guide. Now, coordinate with, guide if a nigga lay if a nigga off. Me and Simon built a bond like, oh no, we both the best at what we do. We ain't got to worry about nothing. Simon can fuck up and you won't, you can't tell. I, I can fuck up and the show ain't, you know, but I've had some instrumentalists come play and it's like, you fucking up the show. Like, you fucking up the energy for me, yeah. I can't do it, so I kept it real minimal. <clears throat> then I found Michael Prince. Michael Prince was like the second instrument that was like, you can come all the time. You feel me? It's so funny, too, because when we was doing live sessions, I told Michael Prince, I said, nigga, play for real. Like, get your mold. Like, when, you, when they breathe and you find pockets to really get off, get off. And he was like, you know, it's funny you say that, because this whole time, like, when I first met with Russell, my mindset was, don't overplay, like, literally reserve your play for when it's really necessary. He was like, that's what's gotten me this far, but now I'm in a state where I really do want to get my shit off. He was mm -hmm. like, well, thank you. And even that, it's so interesting, because I always be like, get off, Mike. <laughs> you feel me? But no, I mean, and, and he, and, but he's also right. It's like, 
when someone's going, you don't want to leave vocalists. And it's like, nigga, you, you fucking up the vibe. It's like, you know when to get, when to play and when to get off. But when it's your time to get off, get off. The same with Shantae singing. I shut my ass up sometimes. You feel me? If I'm not just hyping her and giving her energy, imagine if she's singing and I'm rapping over her. You know, like, she, it's just like when I start rapping and she sing background. She's not singing a full fucking song, you know? Right. <laughs> like you, that shit, that you just, Learn. you be conscious enough. Oh, I think that's my dash. Look at that. Perfect timing. You can leave it there. You can leave it there. But yeah, I feel like he felt most comfort, comfortable like getting off when you like would say it. Mm -hmm. He still would get off while you plant, while you're going. But he has a very not reserved, but like he's smart. Yeah. He knows when and when not. I got it. I'll take it. Yeah. What's up, dog? Thank, Thank you. Lil Russell. Yep. Streams and plays. 